Well, we're raising the glass for National Beer Day this morning. Yes, cheers <laughs> to all of you. But first, Hello. the FBI's method of cracking into iPhones is garnering a whole lot of attention. Our consumer expert, Amy Davis, joining us now with more. Yeah, we're going to start with the serious news this morning because all of this talk kind of started when the FBI tried to get Apple yeah. to help them unlock the phone of the shooter. Well, since seizing the iPhone of San Bernardino shooter Syed Farouk, USA Today says the FBI has seen a flood of requests to access blocked phones in other criminal investigations. More than 500 requests, in fact, from around the country have come to their forensics team. It happened over a four month period. Period starting in October, actually two months before agents got Farouk's phone. Well, the requests have included retrieving deleted data, damaged hardware, and unlocking phones because the cell phone carriers would not grant police access. Well, the FBI says it will assist in each request on a case by case basis. If you've got a Chinese made Ivanka Trump, Ivanka. Ivanka Trump scarf in your closet. Federal safety regulators say you should stop wearing it. They're recalling about 20,000 of the scarves because they pose a burn risk. This is because they say they do not meet federal flammability standards. The recall includes two styles, Beach Wave and Brush Stroke Oblong. They were sold at stores like Lord and Taylor, TJ Maxx, and Steinmart between October 2014 and January 2016. Now you can return these scarves for a full refund where you bought them. Well, today, as we told you, it's National Beer Day. It's an unofficial holiday recognized among beer lovers everywhere because it was 83 years ago today that the Cullen Harrison Act took effect, ending prohibition ah. and allowing Americans to legally buy beer again for the first time in 13 years. So, beer, obviously a multi billion dollar industry, and a new survey from Wakefield Research on behalf of Let's Grab a Beer asked beer drinkers <laughs> with whom they'd most like to have a beer. Well, more Americans chose Tina Fey. Oh, Interesting. I know. It's like, how would you that? think of Tina Fey? But yeah, who barely beat out last year's choice, Jimmy Fallon. Oh, mm. interesting. Yeah. Let's get them both together. I think, beer. yeah, that would yeah. be like the ultimate. No matter who you drink with, you should always drink responsibly. Absolutely. Obviously. No but those are some interesting ones. I don't know who I would say. Like, what did you say? No bong? No pong. <laughs> no poor bong. No yeah. pong? Come on. <laughs> I wish said drink responsibly. Yeah. So. You can still play beer pong and have fun and Uber it's home, have a friend though. pick you Use up. Use a pong for beer. Beer no, pong? Do you or are no, you? No, you're talking pong. I said bong. Oh, yeah. no, you said bong? That's something else. Oh, boy. That but is, a, tell, that is something beer, totally beer different. Bong for beer. See, I'm not cool. I don't even know. It's been a while. Oh, a beer right. pong. Don't even. Yes. I don't like beer. Beer pong and a <laughs> oh. beer bong. But you are married to Joel Eisenbaum. So. Yes. <laughs> He's not using beer pongs or bongs at home, right? <laughs> the, beer the beer bongs were very big back in the college days. Yes, they, they were. were. I was always afraid of the keg stands. I just don't like them being inverted. Never good, never good. Stuck to the beer pong. I'm trying to picture now you and just that big tuft of hair <laughs> everywhere. It was too much hair. Too much like, I'm not sitting upside down. Do you know how long this took? Yeah. <laughs> no, I perfected the Diana Ross. Loved it. Lived it. You know, what's old is new again. Don't it rule is. out doing keg stands. <laughs> <laughs> or big hair. No, definitely not. <laughs> Amy, thank you. We we digress this morning. I know. We just got to send it right over to We're Britta. We're starting the weekend. We early. are gone down this road to the past the point of no return. I do not see Britta Merwin doing keg stands either. I'm <laughs> no, guessing. No, no, that's not. I'd pay to see it. Though. Yeah, I definitely would pay to see that. <laughs> I think a lot of people would. I was going to say I could have saved you about 45 seconds ago once that word beer bong came out. You <laughs> right over here. Weather is a lot more of a safe.